a human fossil remnant consisting of a portion of a skull dome was unearthed in 1913 by farmers on a farm near the village of Boskop in the Transvaal, South Africa. The specimen consisted of frontal and parietal bones with a partial occipital, one temporal and a fragment of mandible. Although the skull was not complete, it is notable that the brain size of the skull was larger than that of a modern human with a size of 1980 cubic centimeters. Our brain size is only 1350 cubic centimeters, so you can imagine the difference. After proper analysis of the differences with the recent people of the region, Robert Broom named it Homo capensis and along with it proposed a close relationship with the well-known Cro-Magnons. When other specimens with same cranial features from South Africa were added to the species, some scientists became convinced that Southern Africa was once home to a race of big-brained, small-faced people, calling them the Boskop race. But this concept of a Boskop race did not emerge from any clear understanding of the South African past. They even tried comparing them to the Hottentot, Bushman, Strandloper, but the distinctions between these categories did not appear to extend far into the prehistoric past and with proper investigations and hypothetical questions, it became clear that the Boskop race was entirely a figment of anthropologists' imaginations. Furthermore, accurate data concerning its discovery are not even available and apparently investigators were not even able to ascertain its exact position when found, which thus minimizes its significance. It presents no primitive features and there is no justification for utilizing the term Boskop race. Up until then, that was the only argument regarding the species. But by the 1950s, scientists were questioning the legitimacy of Homo capensis. Many problems arose, one being that the thickness of the original skull made it difficult to estimate the true brain size. Anthropologist John Hawkes explained in 2008 that even if it were 1980 cubic centimeters, that's still within the normal range of variation for modern people's brains. Another problem was that scientists were preferentially choosing larger skulls to include in Homo capensis while ignoring smaller skulls that were found in association with the bigger specimens. Due to these reasons and the failure to give proper reasons with proof that Boskop man was of a different species, today fossils once classified as Homo capensis are considered members of Homo sapiens. They say that they are not an extinct ancestor at all despite an estimated head size of 30% larger than the modern average. What's your take on this guys? Do let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and for more related videos do check our channel out and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then. This is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.